hello guys welcome back in this video tutorial we will learn how we can add custom controls inside the end design form we will see how we can add a counter inside the end design form and how we can add the read only labels inside the end design form and then we will see how we can add the validations so that the form is validated before it's submitted even in case of the custom controls so let's get started i have an empty react js project that is using end design and right now it's showing nothing so let's go ahead and import the form component from end design and start using it so it will be form and inside the form we will be adding form dot item uh, for for different controls so suppose we want to uh, say that's uh, we want to capture the maybe player name and give it a label of play name and inside that it will be a simple input again from the end design save it here you go play name and you can capture anything here right and at the end of the form items so we can add a button that we can say the submit button submit and its HTML type will be submit. Let's make its type to primary. So it is filled with the blue color. Yep. There you go. And now if I submit, it's do nothing. So let's add the on finish function uh, on the form. So it will be called uh, whenever all of these fields are filled and there is no validation errors then on finish will be called so here it will be giving us all of the values that user has entered inside that so for now let's only console those values save it and if i open the console and now if i submit it it shows that the player name is right now empty and if I write inside anything it will show that the player name is A right and now let us add the validation uh, on these fields. So let us say this player name is required and also let us add the rules. I have a separate video on uh, how to do validation on different type of fields. Uh, I have added its link in the icon and as well as in the description below. Please have a look on that. So inside the rules, we can say it is a required field and uh, the message. If it is not filled, we can say please enter player name. Save it. So now if I make it empty, it says please enter player name whatever we have written here and as, as I said that this on finish will on, will be only called when all of these uh, all of the fields are valid. So if we want to capture the values uh, even without the validation that we can capture inside the on finish field and it will be given us maybe you can say field values and let us console that as well field values. save it if I now submit it says the field values and it gives us the the well uh, the error fields the what is the error what is the name of the field and so on and so forth right so here we uh, use uh, the field uh, or the input control uh, which is provided by the end design so if you want to add a custom control inside the formula atom we can do that as well. So let us copy it and add another uh, field. So suppose we want to add a maybe the counter or the player uh, we can say the player score right. So let us let us create a custom component. So it will be function we can say player scores and and here we can return 
maybe we can uh, return a counter which can say uh, increment and decrement the scores right so it will be a button we can say maybe it's a minus and let's copy it once time and we can say it's plus and inside that we can uh, show the scores so maybe we can add only the span and inside that we can say uh, the value of the scores so here uh, we will be getting uh, some props so let me first make it props and let's console it to see what we are getting here and we can console the props so whatever we have inside uh, the form dot form dot item so instead of the input we will be here we will be seeing the player scores and the format item will be passing few props by default props to this control so this will this will contain the value the on change and the id etc so let's console it and see uh, what we get from there right so save it here you go our control is there and here it is a console so it says that its id is player name uh, whatever we have defined here and the, and it's giving us the value as well as the on change function so we can destructure right away here or we can use the props dot you can say props dot value here and on click of uh, these buttons we can implement uh, like that it will decrement the value and it will increment the value so here we can say on change uh, sorry it will be props dot on change or we can destructure it is it right away we can say value and on change right and instead of props we can directly use the value and here we can directly use the on change so here we can say whatever the value is and decrement it by one and similarly copy this one and for the plus button it will increment by one right let's remove this one okay so if i refresh uh, it's saying any and because uh, it it does not have any value uh, we have not passed any value here so uh, that we can pass initially uh, using the initial values and we can say initial value uh, for the the second we can say play score and we can say the default value is maybe 0 it will be an object right like this way we can pass the player score we can even pass the player name as well so it will be player score save it and now if i uh, refresh and here you go uh, by default it's showing the zero whatever we have passed here and if i increment it it is incrementing and decrementing as well right so we want to uh, we want to validate that the value does not go b uh, below zero or it will it will validate uh, on submit that this value should be greater than zero so we can do that as well so inside the rules let's remove this one and uh, add our own rule so validator and it will be getting the rule as well as uh, the value whatever user has entered in that and here we can return uh, the promise sorry new promise and it will be getting the resolve as well as reject and inside that uh, we will be checking the value whether it is uh, greater than 0 or not so here we can say if if the value is greater than equal to 0 then it's uh, resolve otherwise uh, we can return an error in the reject so we can say reject the score should 
be greater than 0 right. Save it and if I refresh and submit it is saying that please enter the name if I enter the name and submit. So, we are getting the values the player name is a and player score is uh, 0 and if I decrement it. So, it is no minus 1 and we have a validator here that uh, the value should be greater than 0. So, it calls our validator and shows that this is not a valid number. So, say the score should be greater than 0. So, if I again make it plus. So, it will submit and give us the values here and let us refresh and if it goes to the minus and submit no it is it will go into the failed values and inside the failed values it will be giving us that uh, the play score is failed and if I remove this one as well and submit it will uh, give us both of these fields that both of these fields are failed. So, two fields failed one is the uh, player name and the other one is uh, the player score right. So, we have added the validations here. Also alongside uh, this custom validator we can uh, these type of rules are still valid. So, we can add uh, these as, ve as well. So, suppose uh, let us add uh, another field we can say maybe a simple label maybe we can say the uh, admin email and let us add a small component for that as well. So, let us say admin email and it will be getting the value and on change and here we will be returning uh, maybe a span and inside that it will be given us the value. So, suppose uh, we do not want to even we can skip this on change as well. So, if we are not going to this value is not going to be changed. So, let us add the let us copy this one and add a instead of the player score we can add the admin email it will be getting the the value and the on change function and we can say admin email and admin email and inside the rules uh, uh, let us comment with this one and add the rule provided by the form dot items uh, like we ha we can say uh, that its type is email and if it is not the email then say it is not a valid email right and we can add uh, in, the, in, in, in the initial values we can add uh, the default email as well it is admin email is small and we can say admin at gmail dot com save it refresh there you go it is showing the email address and on submit you know validating and giving us the values right and if suppose I enter the email like we can say without dot com and refresh it and now if I submit it say that it is not a valid email. So, this particular re, uh, rule is executed this one right. Also we can add a, a combination of these rules we can so we can add some rules for uh, provided by the founder item and some we can add our own. So, let us add our own as well. So, suppose we want to say that the email should start uh, with the, the keyword admin otherwise uh, it is not a valid email right. So, we can say if the value uh, convert it into string and say that if the value uh, starts with admin if it starts with admin then it is good otherwise uh, we can reject it and say the email should start with admin keyword 
and save it you go it is not valid email and if I change the initial value from admin to maybe ADIN and refresh submit it says that it is not valid email because it is not gmail.com or something and also it is not starting from uh, with the keyboard admin so it is uh, validating that rule as well. So now if I change this to admin and refresh submit it is saying that it is not a valid email so the second rule that it start from admin is good now so if i know at dot com so submit it is good and now if i change only the name so it says that it's a valid email but it it does not start with the admin keyword so that rule is not validating so if i add the player name and add up a value and give it an admin save it and if you know refresh here you go it validated all of the rules and given us the values that the admin email is this one play name is this one and player score is this one right so this is how we add uh, our custom controls inside uh, the form that item and on that we can add uh, the rules provided by the form that items and also we can add our custom validators so we validate the fields and and say whether it is valid or not and each of our uh, custom controls we will be getting few props that include the value the on change and the id as well so we can use the value whatever is provided to us and uh, once with the value changes we can update that using the on change function and once this this is changed this value will be giving us again so we can update uh, inside our ui so that's it on exploring how we can add the custom control inside the form and the form data items and how we can uh, use the custom validators or the validations provided by the end design form so still if you have any questions please let me know in the comments below and if you have learned something in this video please hit like subscribe to my channel see you in the next video thank you